Three hours ago, three hours go by between a 911 call in San Marcos and when help actually arrives. That call was about this man. He is accused of slaughtering a family in Texas. And the call was from Ronald Haskell's mother just days before police say he killed six people in Texas. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha looks into the hours that ticked by after that first attack. We searched through records here at the sheriff's substation in San Marcos. We found there was nearly a three hour time difference from when the call was made to when a sheriff's deputy responded to the home of Ronald Haskell's mother. The question now is why? Former North County resident Ronald Haskell is accused of killing his ex sister in law, her husband, and their four children. Only 15 year old Cassidy Stay survived. A source contacted Team 10 saying more should have been done during a dispute in San Marcos involving Haskell and his mother the week before the murders. The Sheriff's Department news release says mother and son got in an argument around 11 in the morning on July 2nd. They were called to the scene at around 8 p.m. after Carla's daughter returned home. But a public records report shows a different story. According to sheriff's documents, the call for service was at 5.14 p.m. Someone was dispatched around 5.19 p.m. But the documents say nobody arrived until 8.08 at night. Attorney Anthony Colombo said there's one possible explanation. It was several hours after the assailant had left. And one of the first questions that 911 would ask and then relay to the police is, whether or not the individual is facing imminent threat or imminent harm. Haskell's mother got a restraining order against her son. Carla Haskell said he duct taped her and placed his hands around my neck trying to choke me. The source also questioned why there was no warrant ever issued for his arrest. We searched for one on the sheriff's website with no results. Colombo says the key lies in the 911 call, which Team 10 has not yet heard. I think that that's very, very relevant to determine how quickly the officers need to respond. The Sheriff's Department has said this is an active investigation and that no more information will be released. In San Marcos, Melissa Masiha, Team 10.